The looter shooter live service sector in gaming is pretty saturated at this point. There is Destiny 2, The Division soon to be The Division 2, and Warframe. These aren't really games where you can play all of them at the same time. It becomes a way of life if you decide to dedicate yourself to one of them. Since they are continuously updated with content, you have to spend tons of time grinding that content out, so why not enter this market with no previous experience? Right, Bioware? Anthem was supposed to be this giant competitor to the other games in the space, smashing together tons of aspects from all of them and adding on top of that. It showed off a giant world where you could be one of the Iron Man suits from Iron Man 3. I mean, look at it. Huh? Huh? Tell me I'm wrong. It's important to point out that none of the games in the space have ever launched in a great state. The Division had the bug where only one player could access a terminal in the game, so a line had to be formed for each person to get a turn to use it. Warframe is unrecognizable compared to what it is today, and both launches of Destiny were not great, especially Destiny 2. Not only were there technical problems, but also a myriad of gameplay ones that had to be patched months after. Anthem will definitely follow this path. So what does Anthem get right? Well, it's pretty cool when you start flying, jumping up into the air and blasting off, shooting off to your destination. Also, the weapons are pretty good on a controller. The rumble definitely makes a difference compared to a mouse and keyboard, but that's kind of it. I can list tons of problems I have with this game though, starting just top level, the shooting and weapons are a mixed bag here. Yes, it feels a little better to use a controller, but obviously feel less accurate. I feel in control when I use a mouse and keyboard, but it's not fun to play. So if you play on PC, you're gonna have to decide which device you're going to use. Your decision might be made for you because the flying in the game is hard to control. It's almost impossible to fly a javelin with the mouse. Poke the thing, and now your character's flying all the way to one side of the screen. You need to have a controller if you want to be able to fly intelligently, or just not crash into walls. But the weird problems with this game go deeper than that. There are a myriad of technical issues that plague your time with the game. Audio glitches continually happened to me. The music would cut out in the middle of combat and start up randomly again. Dialogue would do exactly the same thing. Someone would be talking and then... Nothing. It's a good thing I left subtitles on so I knew what I was supposed to be doing. There was also a major bug where all audio cut out of the game, so I had to restart it to get it back. The worst of the annoying bugs was when the game froze and I had to Alt F4 and redo the entire mission. This is not including the very weird visual glitches that I encountered. Let's start small and work our way up in severity. When you load into the main base of the game, there is a chance that the world will not fully render. Whether that's the inner walls not loading so you can see the outer ones, or just the decorations around, there is obviously a huge issue in this area. Okay, let's step it up. Still in the main base, there is a chance that more of the base won't load in, like the floor. If you happen to fall through the floor, you are sent to a loading screen and spawned in the main base with everything loaded correctly. If you happen to fall into a pit where part of the ground has been loaded, but you still technically under the floor, you'll, you, you'll be stuck there, and you'll have to wait for the game to respawn you. But okay, let's, let's go to the highest tier of visual glitches possible. During story missions, you are supposed to go to specific locations to fight enemies. I constantly had a problem where the enemies would not be rendered. This means I would be running around taking damage from invisible forces. I had to try and not die waiting for the game to render them so I could fight back. This was a constant problem that I encountered and it happened so frequently. It would always happen in dedicated missions, not in the open world free realm. Okay, let's move on to gameplay. Anthem has you select an Iron Man suit from the start and that is your character for the next couple of hours. You go on missions and fight enemies, this means shooting at them, meleeing them, you know, looter shooter stuff. After you complete the mission, you go back to the main base and get to make adjustments to your suit and loadout. This means that you cannot change your loadout while in a mission. You can only make adjustments to your character while in the main base. When you go off to fight enemies for an NPC, you get stuck with what you got. This is obviously completely different from a game like Destiny where you can switch out all of your weapons whenever you want. And from a selection of nine different weapons for each slot, which means you have access to over 27 guns on you but maybe Anthem's gameplay will make up for it. Let's say you waited long enough for the game to render the enemies. You are now ready to shoot at them. You bounce around shooting at waves of enemies the game throws at you and you're done. Fighting enemies isn't fun 
in this game. You run around killing them with very little feedback, it's just not satisfying to do so. The enemies aren't smart enough to flank you, your fights are contained in small spaces and it ends up feeling like shooting fish in a barrel. It's not even like you're fulfilling a power fantasy, it's just boring. Plus, it's the same fucking fish. There is essentially no enemy variety in this game. I can count all of them on my hand. How is it supposed to be fun taking out waves of these things? Where is the dynamic feeling? So you cleared out your designated area for fighting bad guys. Time to go to the next area and do it all again. You jump up and start flying. This is pretty fun. You get to zoom across the landscape. Oh wait, my engines are overheating. I better land so they can cool off. That's right. The game makes you micromanage how long you can fly for. This isn't done for any real reason other than trying to gamify another aspect of the game. They try and make it fun for you by putting waterfalls in places so you can cool off and keep flying, but this is a gimmick at best. It's stupid that this is in the game at all. So the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay sucks, but what about your overall goal? Leveling up your character so you can get stronger and kill bigger things. The leveling up system works where the level of your gear determines your power level. The main difference between Anthem and other looter shooters is that everything is slowed way down. You barely collect any items, and most of them end up being useless. More often than not, you get a couple of guns, which is nice, but the game doesn't frequently drop other items. Since the abilities you equip are also drops, you have to wait for the game to grant you one. So the whole leveling up system needs some tweaks. Free Roam. This is a mode where the game forces you to be in a public lobby, probably for server space. It's an open world with enemies running around and you get to go out there and shoot them. It's not really engaging to do so and provides no real difference to story missions. It's superfluous content that isn't really necessary. The world itself is a glorified backdrop to the story missions anyway, so its importance is diminished. In other looter shooters, it's the open worlds that are the time sinks. You go around, stomping enemies to grind out XP and having fun. Anthem does not enjoy the same feeling. The open world feels useless. There is no reason other than when forced to, to play in Free Realm. It's a waste of time. Anthem is a complete failure when you look at it closer. The mission design is cookie cutter at best, filled with fetch quests, wave encounters, and nothing more. You fight the same enemies over and over again. An hour of gameplay can feel grueling since there is no variety to be found, it's all copy and pasted. I know a lot of people were looking forward to the epic storytellers of Bioware past to return with this game. That does not happen here. Instead you were relegated to more of Mass Effect Andromeda. Poorly written dialogue, a world without a soul, and characters that only offer a cursory glance at a deeper lore. I think that whatever happened at Bioware in the past half decade has been detrimental to the studio's ability to recapture the magic gamers have been clamoring for. Anthem completely lacks the depth and systems to make it something worth playing for seasoned live service gamers, but it still offers a hook for the broadest audience possible. With many tweaks, this could be something special, but it will take a long time for that to happen.